All right, let's start with our intro. So the intro, here's the chords we're gonna need um, for pretty much the entire song. We're gonna need a C. We're gonna play that with the A shape, so that's a bar chord, okay? So third fret A, fifth fret D, fifth fret G, fifth fret B, and then of course that high E string, uh, third fret, right? We'll play a C major. We're also gonna need an E minor. That's gonna be 7th fret A, 9th fret D, 9th fret G, 8th fret B, and 7th fret high E. And sometimes you can even get like a little minor 7, which is picking up your 4th finger to play the 7th fret G string. And then lastly, to a D major here on the 5th fret. So just a C, but scoot it up a whole step. It's 5th fret A, 7th fret D, 7th fret G, 7th fret B. E string of the fifth fret, and that's pretty much the entire song in terms of the chords. Okay, here's how the intro begins essentially. Okay, it's going to kind of arpeggiate with a little hard stop at the end. It's going to go. So that C is going to be A, D, and I'll splash these two strings here, the G and the B. And I'll relax this hand, cutting those strings off. I go up to E minor, same thing, then D is the same thing. A, D, splash the G and B. Nice little intro, right? And then if I'm getting fancy, I'll throw my fourth finger on the eighth fret B string, get a little pull, and I might play the G afterwards. Kind of cool, right? Okay, we'll do that a couple times, and that's your intro. And then the verse comes in. It's the same exact chords, but now you're gonna play them kind of reggae with syncopated beat. Uh, you can do it like this if you got the full band. C, E minor, D, D. Or you can give yourself a root note if you're kind of just playing a singing by yourself. Something that helps me is I'm muting that E string with my first finger, by the way. So I can get a little bit looser here, so. Right? And I'm kind of cutting it off to play reggae. You've got to get a nice cut going. And that's your intro. I'm sorry, that's your verse. Right? And then on that second half of the verse, it feels like he kind of changes it. He goes, he does this. Right? So you might feel a little swing to it. I'll Right, where I'm doing up strum on the E minor, up strum on the D. Right, isn't that kind of cool? Right, so you can kind of play with that, but there's a little bit of a swing jumping of the beat in my ears hearing that E minor D just get pushed a little bit, so there's that up swing on those changes. Now, uh, then at the end of that, what I consider kind of you know, end of the verse here, or if you will, think of the pre-chorus, you can think of it like that as well. He'll do this. I'll go. So B minor to C. Right? And that B minor is E string, 7th fret, ninth fret of the A, ninth fret D, 7th fret of the G, B, and high E. And then I'm playing a C here, which is going to be the same C as this, but just a different voicing. You can always do this, B minor. That makes it easier. So B minor in this case is A on the second fret. It's going to be on the D string fourth fret, G string fourth fret, and then B string third fret. Finally, high E string second fret. You can always do that. Okay? Or so it's going to go like this. So 
right, so instead of going to the D there, it goes C, E minor, and then there's a little pause, and then a B minor to C. Or I can go. You can do it down there as well. I'm doing a sharp B minor, and then C, just letting that ring out. And then there's the chorus. He's a time trying to think about. And so this part's kind of interesting. So you can kind of play this in a couple different ways. Uh, it's very fun to play it on the word bomb. Time bomb to hit the E minor and then go C. And I'll play kind of two counts on the C, one count on the D, back to E minor, right? So overall that chorus is she's a time bomb trying to think about You can jump that and hit right there on the bomb if you want, or you can keep it moving and just keep that rhythm moving naturally. You can go time bomb, trying to take you out, taking my heart to own the sound. Time bomb, about it, it ain't right. And then we'll go B minor to C on the end of that of the of all the choruses, by the way. Now the tricky part with this song is each chorus is, uh, is different in that it's all the same kind of chord progression. E minor and C, C. I'm so time bomb. Right, if you're counting that as part of the chorus. Time to take you out, taking my heart on the sound. Time bomb, about it and ain't. I got a light switch to That's chorus one. Chorus two will actually go double that. Time bomb. So I doubled everything I just did there, I just kept moving it through. And then finally that third course will actually add another set of courses uh, on top of that even still. And finally ending again on B minor to C, which can be played like there or right there. And by the way, in that solo part, uh, that's going to be on the back of the, the verse as well. So we're going to skip that solo part, we're not going to do this solo part for this, but if you request it, throw it in the comments, I'll go ahead and show you how to do the uh, the little lead melody solo. But that's it. That's how you play Time Bomb by Iration.